okay, now it's time to start finishing up our kitchen here and putting some appliances in and putting in our sink. So this is how we take care of appliances and sinks. So the first thing that we had to put in was a dishwasher. So I went over to my components browser and I went to the 3D warehouse and I did a dishwasher. And this is where you get to pick. I didn't, I don't have any of these designed. So I am going to pick one that somebody else designed. So this is what's awesome about SketchUp in the 3D warehouse. Um, I kind of like this dishwasher here. We're inserting model. Place it, grab this top corner. And I'm just gonna place it on the corner right there. And now I have a dishwasher in place there. Swing around, and I'm going to put a range. See what range says. Some different ranges. Here's a whole set of them. Let's take a peek at what this whole set does, and I'll show you how to use this set. Uh, it looks like these are just three different widths, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit explode. And let's see, right click, unlock, turn, I noticed that it was red. Right click, explode. Now I have my three different ranges. So I'm going to move this range in. I'm guessing it's going to be this one. And this is our first trial where we have to work with rotate. So if I'm still in the move tool, I go on these little red pluses. I can click and I can bring it around and it kind of snaps. And I can look on the right hand side, I can see my angle. And it goes to 90 degrees. So I'm going to see if this is going to fit in this spot. Looks like it'll slide in nicely. Now I'm going to grab this corner and I'm just going to slide it back till it touches the wall. There's my nice, mm, this looks like a Venus Deluxe range there. You've got to put a nice micro hood up here. That's what they're called. I'll move myself a little bit. Uh, micro hood. This one looks like it'll work. So I'm just going to place it again. I'll worry about moving it later. Grab here, rotate it to 90. Grab this corner, slide it right there. Now I can grab this intersection and slide it up in place. Now I got a micro hood in. Last thing I need is a fridge. And it's hard to say what people will call these, refrigerator, fridge, whatever. Here is a nice French door model. And if I look, it doesn't put it in anywhere. So I'm going to place it and see where that went. back on the move tool. And again, I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to set it at the corner right there. Notice I have a little bit of space, so I'm okay to go there. And now I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to move it straight back until it touches that wall. And I have fridge, micro hood, and dishwasher in place. Last thing we're going to do is the kitchen sink. Now this, oh, before I do that, I'm going to erase these two stoves. They're just taking up a lot of room. So I'm going to look for a kitchen sink. 
Sometimes you get good models like this one. Sometimes you get models where they got countertops, cabinets, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to actually grab a bad model for you and show you how to work with it. I can look through pages and pages of these. Let's say... That model of it looks like I'm not going to be able to find a bad model, which is fine. Not right here. Let's grab this one. Okay. You'll notice I placed this model here, and it's got all kinds of junk that I don't want or really need. I just want this kitchen sink. So I'm going to double click to go inside the model. Hold down shift, and I'm going to grab the faucet, the sink, and the drains, and I'm going to go copy, come outside the model, and I'm going to right click and go paste. And I'm going to set it out over here for a second. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to make these a group. A group. And I'm going to grab at the midpoint. And I'm going to set it on here. I want to get it fairly centered. And now you'll see what I'm talking about with it's a terrible model. It's not drawn to scale. And I don't like to do this a ton, but once in a while you're going to have to do this. Now you're going to grab the corner, and you're going to make this sink fit. So I went to scale and scaled it. Now I'm going to move again. Grab this bottom sink edge right here. And I'm going to move it down until it hits my top surface. And then I'm going to grab it at the midpoint. I'm going to move it that way until I'm on the midpoint of this window. And that gets it centered up. Now you'll notice we got the problem here. Go inside this group. Click here. Right click on it. Intersect faces with model. What that did was it took and it cut these surfaces. Delete, delete. faces with model. Make sure I can select those separately. And now this is actually the bottom of the countertop, which is actually okay if I just delete it. And there I have my sink in place. So that's how we get our kitchen fully set up. Upcoming bathrooms.